Now you might be thinking, well, that's not the car you showed in the thumbnail. That's right. I see so many people asking how I built those custom and kind of unique cars in Forza Horizon 3. So I thought I'd just share the building process as well because it's kind of cool and it doesn't really take too long. And I think it's kind of new as well. It's kind of interesting. So I thought I'd share it in the video for once. Before we customize our car, we're gonna jump into the festival. We're gonna start off easy with stage one. So we're gonna swap in the V10 engine from the Audi R8 V10 Plus. As you can see, Power-wise, we're already at like almost 3,000 horsepower, so that's on the very top end of real-life like street drags. So some GTRs probably have got like 3,000 horsepower. I also decreased the rear rim size to have like more rubber. It looks odd, but it's kind of a drag car, so we kind of have to do it. Engine-wise, yeah, it's stage one. We're gonna keep it... We're gonna keep it normal for stage. I say normal, we've got like 3,000 horsepower. I think it's already time to customize our car. And I'm kind of excited for that because not many people out there actually do this and it is, it is kind of entertaining. Like it gives you a sort of like need for speed vibe in Forza Horizon 3, which I think is kind of cool. Look at the weather check. What the heck? Cars were going normal speed. I wasn't speeding that up. Like I didn't edit anything. I'm gonna use a better preset, something very like bright. Have we got something bright going on? We're gonna keep that one. It's kind of a cool lighting. So we're gonna we're now in the dev menus where we can customize our car. Now it's not as easy, but it shouldn't take too long. We're gonna pick our Audi R8 LMS. Now we could hide like everything which we don't want. We're gonna pick a few parts, for example, black out the taillights, and they still work. So I think we're gonna keep that one. We're gonna tint the headlights as well. Can we do that? Let's see. Oh my God, we can. Yes, yes, tinted headlights for the win. Now there are various body parts we can remove and add and so on, but I think, for example, the exhaust. I think we're gonna keep the exhaust. I, I kinda like it. Could be bigger, but I kinda like it. Oh, we can also make the taillight black. Oh, for sure. Glass right taillight. Ooh, we can also make it white. Ooh, white or black? What do we think? I think we're gonna just fully black it out. I mean, it, it looks really cool. Grill. Ooh, can we remove the front grill, actually? <gasps> we can make it black as well. Well, the, the, it's a normal one, chrome. Oh, yeah, don't rate the chrome one. We're gonna remove that as well. I think that looks kind of sick. Yeah, why not? Why not? Front window? Yeah. Uh, we're not wearing a helmet, so I think we're gonna keep the glass for safety reasons. Um, glass, I don't know what that is. Body, okay, that's a bit too much. <laughs> oh, that's the, yes. I don't think it's glass, actually. I think it's probably some, probably some sort of heat-resistant plastic to keep the weight down. But I think uh, we're gonna remove it just because we can. It is really detailed, I have to say. Like, it's, it's actually kind of impressive. You can also see the engine, which is still a V8 engine, even though we swapped in the V10. But psh, those underground racing twin turbo monsters, they don't really have like huge spoilers. So I'm thinking of removing it. We're not building a top fuel dragster. So I think we're gonna remove it. Again, building process, I think it's, it's kind of cool to show it. Like not many people out there actually do this. Whoa, that, that zero to 100 time has got to be mad. I reckon it's like in the one second territory. Can we hit 500? That would be kind of cool. Like stage one, 500? I will take that. Oh, gearage is almost a little too short, but oh my God, it's pulling. Stage one. While 500 kilometers per hour is already kind of insane, I think it's time for stage two. We need more power in our dragster. Now, I have to say, the prices for those turbo upgrades are kind of questionable. We've got 1 million for stage two of our turbos, and we've got a solid 10 million credits for stage three, the final stage. We can get Koenigsegg one-to-one -one power from an exhaust. That's a mighty exhaust. We're gonna equip that. <laughs> Does it sound different? Probably not. 7,000 horsepower should do the trick right now. Oh my god. Like, look at the pull. Like, third gear. Woo! <laughs> that thing goes and like... Oh my god. It flies. 660, 670, 680. Oh! <laughs> oh, poor Yaris.
like in terms of straight line speed we are pretty much unbeatable but it could get tricky when we are trying to turn because it's not exactly built to like handle well Woo! that initial acceleration is kind of kind of mad oh a few frame drops here and there i can run the normal force horizon 3 on ultra settings i can't run the death build on ultra settings like i don't think it's optimized yet hopefully that helped a little bit oh my god that was a huge act oh my god get back on your wheels and we're back <laughs> We're in 10th place, oh my god, we have to make up some positions right now, which shouldn't be too difficult, uh, looking at the speed difference. <laughs> oh, there's no turning, there's just understeer, all the way into the barrier. Ooh. I'm just I'm just tapping the throttle, like it's so ridiculously fast. <laughs> and we're in first place again. <laughs> I think we need something more than unbeatable. Ooh. You know, have that, like, I wanna floor it, but at the same time, I know that if I floor that car, I'm just gonna crash. Tricky, I wanna floor it, but I can't. Let's floor it right here, come on. Ooh, scary. Like, it's really twitchy, it's, it really is. Like, if you upgrade the grip uh, in Force Horizon 3, ooh, that, that airtime though. Oh my god, get back in, yes. Oh no, the Ultima, oh my god. And bye again. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this car so much. It looks so mean. Should we add a spoiler back for stage? Oh my god, that over... What was that overtake? That was criminal. What? That was a criminal overtake by the AI. Almost. Woo! Since when can you get a Ford Ranger into X-Class? Is, is that a thing? Is, is that actually a thing? Hey, monkey. I'm your automated natural navigation assistant. So we need to upgrade the turbos again. 10 million is kind of pricey, not gonna lie. But how many, like how much have we got right now? 10,000 kilowatt, pretty much. Um, is that gonna be drivable? I don't know, 20 million credits for a single upgraded car. That's expensive. The end goal really is to hit a thousand kilometers per hour. If we can hit like a thousand kilometers per hour in a street dragster, I'm fine with that. Oh boy, I'm excited for that one. I haven't tested this yet, again. I kind of want to have like my first reaction on video. I always post pictures of cars I built in my free time or cars that will be in future videos uh, over on my Twitter account. So feel free to follow me on there. Got a clear runway. Here we go. Ooh. 700. 800. Oh! That's fast. 500, 600, 700. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cool. Ah, 860 again. Ah, it's just not fast enough. We need more power. We need more thrust in our dragster Audi R8. Hmm. You know what? I want to end this video on a high note. So I think I'm going to record this again with even more horsepower because I want to see that car hit a thousand kilometers per hour. I really want to see it. So here's the clip. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this sort of like custom dragster build. Uh, I had quite a lot of fun like actually building this car on video for once because I think it's kind of interesting. Like not many people out there actually do this kind of stuff. Also let me know if you want to see like more custom car builds. I'm down, I'm down. You can't like customize every single car like that much like the Audi R8. But yeah, drop a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. And until next time, bye.